Let's move on to our next page, the upload page. On this page, users are going to be able to create posts by uploading media files and associating with them a given caption and location. So this page is going to consist of three parts. First of all, a splash screen to initially show to users that'll have a button that tells users to upload an image. Next, when they choose to upload an image, we'll show them a modal that'll give them the options to either take a photo with their device, choose a photo that's already in their image gallery, and then once they select a file, we'll move on to another page, another screen, where we're going to display a preview of that image and give them a text input to provide a caption related to the image as well as their location. We'll add geolocation so we can detect the current location of the user's device and of course when a user posts an image we'll upload the media file and then get back a URL which will associate with the post that we'll add to a post collection in our Firestore database. So it seems like a lot of steps but this is going to be pretty simple to set up. Our first step is creating the splash screen. So we're going to head to upload.dart in the pages folder and create this. From our build function we're going to return the results of a new function called build splash screen and this function is going to return a container. So this container is going to have the color which will be our accent color so we'll use theme.ofcontext.accent color and we'll make it a bit lighter by saying with opacity has an opacity of 0.6 then for its child we'll use a column widget where we'll set main axis alignment to main axis alignment dot center to center it vertically then for its children we'll first have our image and that's going to be an SVG picture dot asset widget to display this image so we'll need to bring in once again our flutter SVG package and for this SVG we're gonna get it from assets slash images and the file name is upload dot SVG and the height for it is 260 then underneath the image we'll have a padding widget we want to add padding on the top to separate this from our this button from our image. So we'll use edge insets only on the top. We'll set that to 20. And then for the padding's child, we'll use a raised button. And we can give this button a shape with the shape argument. We'll set it to the class rounded rectangle border, which gives it the shape exactly as its name describes and we'll give it a border radius so to border radius dot circular with a radius value of 8.0 then after that we'll include as the buttons child a text widget with the text upload image and for it we'll set the style and using text style We'll set the color to white, colors.white, and the font size to 22.0. Then the color of the button will be colors.deeporange. We just need to put this outside of the text widget. And then for on pressed, we want to execute a new function which we'll call select image and we need to pass through to this function context in order to make our modal work. So let's create select image above build splash screen. I'll accept context but for right now let's take a look at what we've created so far. We look at our simulator we have our background SVG image and our upload image button, so that's good. Now to display our modal, we're passing through context to select image. And to show a dialog, we'll want to return the show dialog widget, which takes first context. So we'll 
rename the context that we're passing through to this function parent context. We need to pass through a parent context here and we'll get a different context within our builder function right here. So here we'll get normal context and from show dialog we'll return a simple dialog where the title of it will be a text widget that says create post. And then for its children we'll have our different options that we mentioned. So we'll have a simple dialog option where the first child will have the text photo with camera. We'll copy this and for the next option this will be image from gallery and after that simply cancel to close the dialog. So each of these options will have an on pressed function associated with it and the easiest one to perform is the cancel option. So in order to remove our dialog we can just do so by executing navigator.pop and passing in the context that we're getting from the builder. Next we'll take care of photo with camera for its on pressed we'll execute a function that we'll call handle take photo and we'll make this above select image. First of all we'll call navigator.pop with our context. We don't need to pass it through to this function but that's just to remove the dialog. Then we'll use the image picker which we'll need to import from the image picker dependency. Then we'll use the method pick image and this is an async operation so we'll need to make this an async function and we'll await image picker dot pick image and we need to specify a source and that will be the camera so that will come from image picker dot camera or rather image source dot camera and then we can set a max width and height for the image that we select so for the max height that'll be 675 and the max width 960 and then after that after we picked our image we'll get back a file we'll put it in this file variable that will be of type file and for file we'll need to import the library dart.io and we'll want to store this file in state so we'll create a file piece of state that we won't initialize to anything and from handle take photo we'll call set state where this dot file will be equal to the file that we get from our image picker and then after that we'll add an on press to image from gallery so for that we'll call this function handle choose from gallery and for this too we'll use the image picker this will need to be async we'll first call navigator.pop context then after that we'll await image picker dot pick image but this time the source is going to be from image source dot gallery instead of camera and once again we'll put it in our file variable of type file and we'll put that in state so when a user selects that they want to upload an image we show them a modal they'll choose an appropriate option and if they choose photo with camera or image from gallery we will pick an image either from the camera or the gallery on their phone and then we're going to put the image file that we get back from image picker in state so what are we going to do when we have this file in state well we want to change our view similar to what we did for our search page so once again we'll include a ternary or we'll say if file is equal to null if we don't have a file then we want to build our splash screen but for now we just want to return a text widget that says file loaded and in fact in the future we're going to have an upload form so let's actually jump ahead a little bit and create the build upload form function which will for now just return this text widget 
to give us an indication of what we need to do next. So now let's save upload.dart and we'll open our simulator. We'll choose upload image. We see our dialog pop up, with the title create post. We have our different options. If we hit cancel, we close our dialog. And for the iOS simulator, I don't believe that you can pick a photo with the camera. You can for Android, however, feel free to do that. However, for iOS, I believe you can just choose an image from gallery. So we'll choose that option. It's going to ask us if we can give it access to our photos. We'll say OK. We'll see our gallery come up, and we can choose whatever image that we like. Then after we pick an image, we see File Loaded. So this is exactly what we want. And in the next step, we'll display the image that we selected here, and we'll provide an upload form so users can caption and add a location with their post. And after that, they can actually create it.